Hi guys, Tony here. So today I wanted to do a follow-up video on Nutudo's Time Plus supplement. I started it uh, about over a month ago and yeah, I'm very impressed with the results. I'll go into the data behind it and then go into my own results further. So why is boosting NAD so important? Well, it's a really important coenzyme. It's in, in every single cell in your body and low levels of it are strongly associated with uh, all the hallmarks of aging. So if you boost NAD, then you can positively impact your, uh, or slow down rather, your aging process. And this is where it gets a bit more complicated because there's certain ways of boosting NAD. You can have injections or you can just take a precursor, even just niacin, plain flushing niacin, take high doses of that and boost your NAD levels, but it can have negative impacts in other areas. There's another YouTube channel called Conquer Aging or Die Trying, and he experimented doing a really high dose of niacin, like 600 milligrams, Obviously, you'd have to spread that out during the day because you'd get a lot of flushing at that kind of dose. And what did he discover? Well, yeah, NAD did go up, but inversely, his speed of aging definitely went up too. So there was obviously negative consequences for that. I believe it can inflame the liver. There's been evidence that's just come out in the last week or so talking about actually impacting cardiovascular health in a negative way too. Obviously niacin isn't inherently bad, as of, it's, but it's doing too much, especially if this flushing kind of has negative side effects. But going further down the rabbit hole of taking NAD+, as I said, you can have injections of it, or you could do niacin, which typically is known as nicotinic acid, and that gives you flushing. There is nicotinamide, which doesn't give you flushing, and then you've got MNN, NR, all these precursors. But yeah, boosting it without fixing that pathway, I believe that is where you can get benefits from it. And this is what was highlighted by the lovely Nicola in my last podcast with her talking about, so boosting NAD in theory, so you're getting higher levels of it circulating, but then your active level that's involved in cellular repair isn't necessarily going up as much because if you've got that inflammatory enzyme CD38 and that has a higher affinity for NAD than for the positive effect, so you're fueling that inflammation rather than fixing that pathway through various means and then you're getting a higher active level of NAD+. I like the analogy she used with say an old factory rather than upgrade the equipment you just put more raw materials through it and hope you get more out the other end rather than fix all those little holes that are leaking those raw materials you're just trying to pump out more rather than fix the root cause of the problem and as you get older that root cause of the problem becomes more of an issue so you do need to think about these things and people get a bit skeptical because they just see nicotinamide and think well that's just a cheap supplement and as you may have heard there's a lot of hype behind nr and mnn being precursors that uh, have high bioavailability rather than taking some form of niacin yes but then they're still not fixing that root cause of the problem so by taking a supplement like this then you'll get you're fixing that problem you're getting a precursor although it's niacinamide but then in theory you don't really need to go crazy with spending a lot of money on the precursor if you're fixing that pathway you just need to get that uh, that basic amount that you need interestingly after finding out that his speed of aging went up by quite a bit he tried doing it with mnn like a high dose of it and then yes the speed of aging went back down again but interestingly his telomeres got shorter too this is just with mnn but he's not fixing every hallmark of aging interestingly with the telomeres and this is what i'm interested to find out with my own speed of aging test i'm going to be doing another one at the end of march and my last one i reversed my speed of aging by 7.7 percent in the space of around four and a half months so i'm very keen to find out with all the changes I've done, what impact boosting NAD plus is. I think this is a, a big ticket item, bo boosting NAD plus because it hits all those hallmarks of aging. And I think fixing the NAD salvage pathway is the smart way of doing it. So what have I noticed being on uh, time plus? Well, for sure my energy's gone up 100%. It's not been a dramatic of a rise as say doing five amino one MQ, which was even in within a few days, I was noticing my libido going up. Whereas with this, it has been a gradual thing, but I have noticed that over this period of a month trialing out this supplement that for sure it has positively benefited my energy levels. Uh, just little things, you just, when you think about it over those period of a few weeks, that uh, decisions that I was holding off on, say I've mentioned on my channel about going off to Thailand and finally doing this fight. I've been talking about it for over two years now. And finally, just actually grabbing the ball by the horns and actually just taking a risk and actually getting dates lined up and 
making connections with clubs because I personally believe that energy is strongly associated with happiness, obviously motivation, yeah, but I think there's link between your mood and energy are so closely aligned when you're not feeling motivated, you don't take on challenges, you become demotivated and I think that links to depression. And this is why I mentioned about libido, it's not just related to your hormones, I've identified even things like cortisol, there's obviously a strong link, it depends on your genetics of course, but there's a strong link. But with me it's also energy levels too, that's why I noticed it with 5-amino-1-MQ and this is a drug that suppresses NMMT which is involved in the NAD salvage pathway. Yes it's a bit more experimental but it uh, does have benefits there. And so now moving forward, I'm just going to be doing it this time plus. And what I'm going to do is at least cycles of three months of it, have a break and then do things like this 5-amino-1-MQ to give myself just a real suppression in MMMT, which uh, is great for uh, burning fat too. And then go back on the time plus because even uh, Nuchido, they people ask, so what age should I start taking time plus? And then there's no exact answer because yeah, when you're 20, you typically have about twice the levels of NAD as when you're 40. So somewhere in between that's probably a good age, 30. And then even then, at that kind of age, you could cycle it because say when you're 40 or 45, 50, then you're going to have more demand for that supplement because your salvage pathway is not going to be functioning as well. So it, it, there's middle ground there in between those age numbers where you could cycle it. And for myself, I think, yeah, doing three months on, one month off is a good way. For this first cycle, I've only just done a month and then I'm going back on the 5-amino-1-MQ. And this is because previously I was doing this longevity supplement from Time Health and now I've switched over to uh, Time Plus. And for sure, I've noticed a boost in my energy levels being on Time Plus. I was a little skeptical because, as you know, I like to push the boundaries and try uh, experimental compounds even. Obviously, measured risks, I don't do my research first, but with something like this, you know, botanicals, often you think, well, how can that compare to a pharmaceutical compound? But actually, yeah, I'm very impressed with this because yes, we're not trying to artificially spike up NAD. We're trying to fix those problems and botanicals can actually be quite strong for healing the body. And interestingly, switching back to the 5-amino-1-MQ, I haven't got that huge surge because I feel like my baseline is already higher already to start with. If you're interested in the Cheetos at Time Plus, then uh, check out the show notes below. There's a link with my discount code TM10 for 10% off. And you have an option of trying it out for a month or three months. There is a bit of a saving doing it over three months. As I said, it is quite a big ticket item. So you're, it's up to you to, you know, if you want to just to try it first, uh, I think for sure a month you will notice it. And in the double blind trial where they use Time Plus, a month is where they measured it after and saw the positive uh, increases at NAD plus and then they, they switched it over and so they had people switch over and then the people's levels went down, the people who stopped it and the people who uh, started the uh, time plus their levels went up so it, it clearly it does work. And then speaking with Nicola previously people might say well why not just take these individual supplements that are in the pill. Yes that is an option I, I believe say with something like epigenin which is in high amounts in parsley although you'd have to eat a lot of parsley to get the amount required. If you're just to take epigenin the actual uh, polyphenol in that on its own that the absorption rate isn't as high as if you had it with parsley. So what they've done is standardize the parsley down but still retain some of the other molecules in the parsley to help with absorption. There's a few other things in there, Sephura Japonica and green tea extract. These are all things I've been told have been put in the right amounts to really help with that NAD salvage pathway. This is a company run by scientists so they're looking for the high-end product. On the flip side, you get supplement manufacturers that just throw in all the ingredients and just hope to get the, the, the best product for the cheapest possible price. And this is why the dose is six capsules a day to really get the efficacious dose rather than just thinking of convenience and trying to fit everything into one or two capsules. So as I said, I'm pleasantly surprised I can actually have something a bit more natural and botanical that gives me a lot of those NAD benefits. And uh, yeah, I can just share that with even with my clients because it doesn't invalidate my insurance. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.